Oh. <laughs> Morning. Morning. So what's on the syllabus today? Derivatives. Yes! I love derivatives. How can you love derivatives? All the ofs and the, and the k's and the g's and it's too much to remember. How can you love them? Like this. Derivatives are slopes of tangent lines as we all know. So d of x is 1 and d of k must be 0. The constant times of function rule is coming up next. It's dky is kdy dx. Derivatives of differences are done as the sums are. Combine the primes, respect the signs, and you'll have the answer. So ax plus b prime is a qed. Now do the derivative right. Derivatives of products are a bit problematic. The rule to use is arguably less automatic. The method that the tempted often use is corrupt, and even wise old Leibniz screwed it up. The derivation's tricky should you care to begin it. You'll add a form of zero and proceed with the limit. Write GD up first, then add the reverse, and do the Together form a function divided, and you are troubled by the proper way to derive it. Forget about the formula we've covered so far, and put the square of g beneath the bar. The top requires care and causes regular woes. The trick is the subtraction. Listen, here's how it goes. Right, loady the high, last hidey the low, and do the derivative right. By thinking of the squaring act as multiplication, gives dx squared by product rule and simplification. Treat other powers thusly, and you'll quickly observe a very simple pattern. To prove this handy rule applies to similar functions. Assume it's true for k, and then proceed by induction. Write n in conjunction with power reduction, and do the derivative rag. The stubbornness of e to x could hardly be great. That function's unaffected by the D operator. Deriving K to power X is nearly the same. Just multiply that F by L and K. The rule for log base P of X from this follows easily. Let F be Y, then power both sides, and derive implicitly. X, L, and B, then reciprocate it. Cosine is zero and rises with a slope of one where cosine is maximal. Investigating further, you will certainly see that d of sine and cosine both agree. By plotting slopes of cosine, you will come to observe the derivative of cosine x is sine x inverted. Tangent and others use product and quotient rules to the derivative rag. Using composition to build functions from others takes f and g and 
turns them into foggers and goffers to find the prime of cube of sine right three sine squared next, deriving with respect to sine of x. Then multiply by d of sine, and you'll have created the rule for d of f of g, more generally stated as f prime of g of x followed by g prime x to the derivative rag. The hyperbolic tangent and reciprocal functions are handled by applying rules we've already mentioned. If inverse sine and cosine start to lead you astray, implicitly deriving is the way. When other functions vex you, you must always recall that we've discussed the tools that let you handle them all. So follow the rules to come didn't go off and I overslept. Uh, did I miss anything? You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs>